So, my shop teacher was a man by the name of Warren Isaac, and he has been the influence on my life most of my life. However, as a shop teacher, he was a perfectionist. So, he taught me to build furniture. I built desks and tables, coffee tables, stuff like that. His uh, way of finding out the stress point on a coffee table was to stand on it. <laughs> if it went down, he rebuilt it. Simple. He wanted it to stand. And from that man, I gained this persistence and wanted to be a perfectionist. And it took some time, but I, I finally shed some of that. Um, another influence that was in my life was a fellow by the name of Dizzy Westcott. Dizzy Westcott was a guy who was a farmhand, traveled around different farms, and uh, he always had crayons in his pockets. And he would draw on the back of auction posters in bars for beer. He'd take out a crayon and he'd draw a farm, and he'd draw it perfectly. And I used to watch that old boy draw. And as a child, I'm, child, I'm 16, 17 years old, I used to sit in my dad's bar and I drew the customers. They sat pretty still, and especially the guys that played <laughs> cards, because they played cards in the back room. They played poker. Nobody got a poker face there. And smile. So they got, you have a good subject to work from. So uh, they were they were my first, basically my first ed subjects. Um, I also joined 4-H. 4-H so had an art program, an art part to 4-H, and a lady by the name of Davis, gave me my first watercolor set. And that really made a difference in my life, because that was the first time that I really got to do a lot of stuff with color. I was, but at that time, I was pretty young, and I was probably 12, 13 years old. Uh, but she was another great influence on me. Well, anyway, I, uh, while I was in high school, I did a lot of drawing, but no classes. And I always sketched in the sides of my, the columns of my books and that sort of thing. And uh, when anybody wanted something drawn, they'd say, well, Craig will do it. And that was it. I drew, for our prom, they did Blue Hawaii, and I, all the way around the gym, we had paper hanging. And I drew hula dancers, and palm trees, and ships, and all that sort of thing. And then the other kids came back, and they colored them in. So I didn't have to do that part of it. Anyway, uh, Finished high school, and uh, that was in '57, and uh, decided that I was going to go in the military, and the military didn't want me because I was, guess what, colorblind, <laughs> and I had flat feet, and I had erratic fever when I was a child. I spent uh, 14 weeks the first time I had it. I was in eighth grade. The second time I got it, I was a freshman in high school. I spent 27 weeks in bed. Well, what do you do when you're in bed? Well, you draw. <laughs> so I drew everything. I also took the radio part, put it back together, took the clock part, put it back together. Stuff like that, because what are you going to do? It's there. So it was, I didn't read much. I read magazines and the newspaper, but I'm not a book reader. My wife does that. Uh, my primary reading is short stories or magazine articles or newspapers.